Today's video is going to be an April favorites video for you guys. Before we get started, something pretty insane happened this past week and I am just still sitting here like WTH. What is going on? Last Thursday night I was having a really bad night. I went to bed upset and then I woke up upset as well. When I woke up, I checked my um, YouTube like I always do when I'm in bed and I saw that my subscriber count was almost to 3,000 and I was all like, what is going on? Well, I was just like, okay, it must be a dream. So then I looked at my Bethany Moda Summer Collection video and I saw that it had 21,000 views and I read some of the comments and a lot of people told me that Bethany had liked my video or something and so I was just like flabbergasted. She didn't have to really give the video a thumbs up but she did. That was so generous of her. Literally my channel blew up. I'm at 13,000 subscribers now and that's insanely crazy. I didn't even think that I would reach 3,000 by the end of the year and I just wanted to thank you guys that subscribed so so much. It means the entire world to me and I'm forever grateful for each and every sweet comment that you guys leave me. I'm just so thankful and I would never ever take that for granted. The fact that it was so unexpected made the experience so much better. So thank you so much for clicking that subscribe button. I will make sure that you guys do not regret clicking that subscribe button. I have so many videos in store and so many different kind of video ideas and I'm excited. I think you guys will like it. So yeah, anyways, that's what you missed on Glee. I just wanted to inform you guys and update you guys on that and I also um, made a Twitter so if you want to tweet me, it's gonna be linked down below. So today's video is an April favorites video. I do have a couple favorites that I wanted to share with you guys. I hope you guys like this video and let's just get started. My first favorite in the beauty category is this right here which is the Benefit Air Real Mascara. I am literally so in love with this mascara. I've been using it this entire month like crazy. The wand actually has like spikes all over. It helps to get a nice even coat of mascara onto each and every single one of your lashes. It lengthens them and it separates them. It literally is your lashes but better. All of my friends that have used this have loved this as well. It retails for around $18 or $20 and you can get it at Sephora or Ulta. So yes, I definitely recommend this if you are looking for a high-end mascara. My next favorite is a lip balm and I always talk about lip balm so I'm so sorry you guys. This is the Baby Lips Doctor Rescue in the flavor Soothing Sorbet. I used to hate baby lips so much. I did nothing for my lips. They actually I felt made them worse. They like gave them a gross um, sheer covering on them which I didn't really like at all. Decided to give another one a try and it's from the Dr. Rescue collection and I'm blown away. This has menthol in it which kind of is medication for your lips. It gives my lips a cool tingly sensation and I know that the menthol in it is worth And I like the color that this one gives as well. The coating on this is not obnoxious as the previous one so I really just like it. Honestly, TBH, I like the packaging on these better than the normal ones. I don't know, sue me but I really like them on these. The next favorites are these Wild and Pink Body Mist and um, 2 in 1 Wash and Scrub from Victoria's Secret Pink. I'm in love with this. This literally smells like mangoes and for some reason I feel like it reminds me of Hollister. It's a perfect scent for the spring and summertime. So, but this thing, it's like a scrub. I don't know if you guys can see it, but this is actually the product inside of it. There's so much in it. It's so huge. It makes my body smell really nice even after I get out of the shower. And like after I get out or somebody else goes in, they're like, oh my god, what's that smell? And I'm like, it's this. So I've just been loving these two things. My next favorite is a candle. Surprise, surprise. You guys know that I'm like obsessed with candles. The one that I've been burning like crazy this month is Paris Daydream. Look at the packaging. It's adorable. Like, bravo, Bath & Body Works. I think um, the reason I finalized on buying this as one of my candles was because of the lid, because, like, perfect. This is described as our oh-so-French blend of watery notes, moss, and mandarin. Imagine a day along the scene in the city of love. It's just a really refreshing scent. So I've been burning this a lot, and it helps make my room smell clean and fresh and just springy. Okay, so now on to fashion favorites. And I actually have two fashion favorites this month, and they're both shoes. The first pair of shoes I got were these right here, and I've been loving these ever since. They're um, these 
cutout booties that have a buckle on one side and then this fashionable cutout edgy look on the other. These are from the Bethany Moda collection and I got these for like $13 and honestly let me tell you these are the most comfortable shoes I've ever worn in my entire life. You can throw these on on a casual outfit or you can just dress them up if you want. I've just been loving them and these will probably be my holy grail shoes for the rest of the year. Before I show you guys my next shoe favorites do not judge me okay. I got these from DSW and they're just like flat shoes. They're bobs okay don't judge me. Everybody's been judging me because they're like hardcore Tom stands or something. The story behind this was I really needed shoes like last minute. I was going somewhere the next day and I didn't have any like flat comfortable shoes to wear so I went to DSW and I found these. I just thought they were really pretty like there's like a crochet lace pattern on them. They're super comfortable and they're cute. I really like these shoes and they've been a favorite of mine of this month so... My next favorite, let me just back up from the camera. Okay, my next favorite is actually an object and it is this thing right here. It's my planner and I'm so excited about this. I love planning from birthday parties to dinners to anything basically. I love planning, I love making lists, I love doing all of that stuff and I didn't have a planner so I went out and I bought myself a planner. The cover has like a front sleeve that you can put um, anything inside of pictures or whatever. I just um, opened up Word and wrote more issues than Vogue on a similar text than the actual logo is and I printed it out. The original was kind of ugly. Basically there's like monthly calendars like this so it shows you an overview of the entire month and then there's also like weekly stuff right here so you can write on a weekly basis per day. Just been keeping me really organized and it's really helpful and I love like planning when I wake up in the morning and drink tea or drink coffee. So this is the month of April. It was kind of pretty hectic. I don't know if you guys can see it but um I had all of these things that I needed to accomplish. This is what I have for the month of May. I'm not going to show you guys that because it has a few video uploads on this channel written on there so I don't want to show you guys because I want that to be a surprise for you guys. I've just been loving this. Alright, so now on to like food favorites. I just realized that one of them's healthy and the other one's unhealthy. So it kind of balances out. I can't feel bad about sharing either of them with you guys. So my first food favorite is this right here, which is the sparkling ice water. I hate drinking anything besides water. Sometimes this is an exception for me because it is water. It's just carbonated because it's sparkling water. So it's a nice refreshing texture that I get from it. And also it's, it's zero calories. It also has um, vitamins added and green tea extract added. So it's actually really healthy for you. There's a ton of flavors. This flavor is in coconut pineapple. This flavor literally tastes amazing. Like, I don't know what it is. Okay, and my second food favorite I don't have with me because I ate it. Not all. I ate some. I helped in eating them. And they are Sprinkles Cupcakes. I am in love. They're like the best cupcakes I've ever tasted in my entire life. And I hate cupcakes. I hate cakes. I hate cupcakes. I hate anything sweet. But I would forever make an exception for Sprinkles because it's they're so yummy. I put it on my Instagram. The cupcakes that I bought were the Red Velvet and the Peanut Butter Chip. And they're so good. So if you do have a Sprinkles or a Sprinkles ATM, go get yourself some because you will thank me. So yes, those are my food favorites. Now on to the music slash show favorites. So my favorite show of the month has been Lost and I've been obsessed with that show. I think I started watching it in either early March or late February. I think it's one of the best um, television series ever and it actually got ranked as the 27th best written television series to ever air and it's just perfect. It's basically about a plane crashing on an island and all of the characters like I've gotten so attached to. I just finished the final episode yesterday and I'm very very sad. The final category is music. The first song that I've been obsessing over is Problem by Ariana Grande featuring Iggy Azalea. It's Ariana. Her voice is perfect so and Big Sean is on Problem and I love Big Sean so obviously I love problem. And the second song that I've been listening to this month is Black Widow by Iggy Azalea featuring Vita Ora. I don't know. I really like it. Please go listen to it. It's 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 perfect. My last music favorite is not one song, it's an entire album and it's um, MKTO's view album. A lot of you guys might know them for their song classic and um, honestly they have a ton of more amazing songs and they're so talented. A few songs that I've been enjoying by them are God Only Knows, Forever Until Tomorrow, American Dream, Thank You, Wasted, I just love all of their songs. You know, MKTO is actually Tony Aller, and I forgot the other guy's name. I think it's Michael something. I don't know. But what's 
funny about that is that that Michael kid, he played Walt on Lost. I'm like, wow, Lost is literally taking over my entire life. So they're really talented. Go check them out. Okay, so those were all of my favorites for the month of April. I hope you guys liked this video. My next video will be up in a couple of days, and I'm so sorry again for not posting in over a week. I'm back on my schedule, and there will be like at least two or one uploads a week now, and the next couple videos um, are highly requested from you guys, so I hope you guys like them, and I'm excited to release them, and yeah, they'll be coming in like a couple days so I hope you guys like this video and give it a thumbs up if you did share with me some of your favorites of this month or if you like anything that I showed you guys in this video then just comment down below your thoughts on it and everything thank you and again this week has been crazy I still don't believe I have 13,000 subscribers but I do and I need to step up my game and I will I promise you guys so yes thank you so much and I will see you guys in my next video bye <laughs>